Another aspect of getting your workspace set up in an effective way for 3D work is using multiple viewports. So traditionally when you're working in a 2D environment, you generally work from a top view, uh, you know, and then you might switch to different views, but um, generally speaking, you know, you're working in the one top view, kind of like you're drawing on a piece of paper. Well, once you want to take that 2D drawing and bring it into the 3D world, you really need to be able to see that. Um, we can switch from one view to the next, uh, but sometimes having at least two views available can really make that easier. It's a very simple process to do that. What we want to do is go up to the ribbon and find the view tab because we're going to be changing how we're viewing our drawing. In the view tab you'll see that there is a model viewport section. Right now our viewport configuration as seen here is a single viewport. If I click this drop down you'll see that there's actually a variety of standard viewport configurations available. I generally will use the two vertical, the next one down, uh, but this is something you can certainly play around with. So if I select two vertical, what you're going to see is my screen divides in half. So I have two identical viewports right now. So I'm still in the same drawing, I'm still in the same file, but it's as if I have two different windows that I'm, I'm going to be looking through at my drawing. Um, you know, if I want to select a different one, I can just come in and say maybe I want to, wanted to do three. And it will divide my screen this way. Now, which viewport configuration you pick is really going to depend on the type of work you're doing and how big your monitor is, or if you perhaps maybe even have two monitors. Because as you can see here, if I try to do this three viewport configuration on my small laptop screen, that's not going to work out very well. So I'm just going to go back and do the two vertical. Now, when you change the viewport, it's just going to do a copy of whatever you had open to begin with, which in my case happens to be top view wireframe. I can see that here in the upper left left hand corner of each viewport. It says top and 2D wireframe. So if I wanted to go in and change one, you know, I can go in and click on the word top here. And when it drops down, you'll see that we have a variety of options. So our standard options are the orthographic views, top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. So imagine that you have a cube and you're able to see all six sides. Then we also have four standard isometric views. And then we can either see these in parallel or perspective uh, configuration. So parallel, everything of course is going to be parallel. Perspective will be like looking through a camera, which we'll get to eventually. So I could leave maybe this one in the top view. That's something I frequently do. And then I could come over to the right, click inside of the viewport to make it active, and then change maybe this one to you know, a southwest asymmetric view. Notice when I do that, that our, uh, our axis lines change a little bit. So on the left, in the lower left hand corner, we'll see the X axis and the Y axis because we're looking at this in orthographic two dimensional view. The Z axis is still there, it's just that we can't really see it because it's pointing straight at us. When we flipped this right viewport into an isometric view, what's happened is we've really kind of flattened out our view so that here's X, here's Y, and now the Z is pointing straight up in the air. So as we draw, we're going to be able to see live how our object is being converted from 2D to 3D. To the right of the actual viewport configuration, you'll see that we have visual style controls. That's something we'll get into more in the future, but that's where you can change it from being a wireframe to hidden line, uh, things like shaded or realistic that give you a, a better idea of um, the mass of something, what the materials might look like and that type of thing. But that doesn't really change how you're working, just how you're seeing it. So it's not actually changing the object, just how it's represented on your screen. Okay, so the important thing here is that if you want to have multiple viewports on your screen so that you can see your model in different orientations, you just go to the View tab and then the Model Viewports. If at any time you want to change back to one, you can just come up to Viewport Configuration, pick Single, and it will expand whichever one you had active. 
Remember, as you're working and you want to switch back and forth, I can just go in here and change it again, you just click inside of the viewport to make it active. And the border gets a little bit bolder, and that's the one you're going to be able to draw in and manipulate.